so my channel is changing but don't worry it's not changing drastically it's just that as you may know if you've seen my previous video I have now finished my degree in German, Spanish and French at Bangor University and obviously this was a big part of um, my, my life, my videos on YouTube for the last four years because it was a very big part of my life and I was documenting that on YouTube. I was sharing um, days in my life at university, study vlogs, advice for going to university, uni room tours. All of these things I can't I can't share with you all anymore if I'm not at university. And that doesn't mean that I'm not going to be making videos about learning languages anymore because I love languages and I don't want to forget my you know my German, Spanish and French and I'm really interested in learning more languages as well in the future. Um, I'm actually thinking about studying Italian pretty soon. In fact, I was going to start like this week, but I don't know if you can tell from my voice, but I currently have COVID, so I'm not really in the right mindset to pick up another language um, right now. Um, like yesterday, I just wanted to curl up in a ball and lay in bed. Um, I have very mild symptoms, so don't worry about me. I am fine. <laughs> I'm sure I will recover from this soon. Um, yeah, I just feel more like I've got a mild cold, like, freshest flu hit me worse. Um, yeah, it was more sick. Um, I think I got freshest flu twice this year. <laughs> like, there must have just been so much going around in freshers and that start of uni that as soon as I recovered from freshest flu, I just picked someone else up and, yeah, um, that didn't turn out to be the virus. This is the first time I've knownly had COVID, um, but anyway... I'm not going to ramble on too much about having COVID as, you know, I'm sure you're all bored about hearing about COVID and many of you have probably had it yourself already anyway, um, because it does kind of seem like now everyone's going to get it at some point, even if you don't realise you have it because you're asymptomatic and testing, I know, at least in the UK, isn't as big as it used to be. Um, yeah, on the day that I tested positive, I actually didn't have any symptoms, wouldn't have done a test if... It wasn't for my my flatmate um, testing positive. Um, yeah, but anyway, I said I was going to stop rambling on about COVID. Um, the point is, I just wanted to say, you know, my channel is obviously going to be slightly different. I'm still going to be making travel videos when I am actually traveling. I know I haven't been traveling much this year just because I'm really struggling for money right now. And I know there's all this stuff saying you can travel on a budget, but you still need money in the first place. Like, so to go to go somewhere, like... Yeah, she can stay in hostels and it makes it cheaper. And you still need money to do that. And you still need money for travel insurance and all this, these other things that right now, currently, I don't just really have the money for. And, you know, I don't want to go spend all my money on a trip, come back to the UK, and then I'm really struggling to get a job. And then I'm just broke and not able to go out and do anything in my free time. Um, You know, I am more interested in, like, travelling than, you know going out to a bar all the time like I'll happily miss going out to the bar every so often to save up money to go travel but um I still need to have some sort of social life whilst I'm at home um and yeah um I guess you're all kind of interested in what I am actually planning to do next and I can't give you like an exact answer of what I'm doing next right now because I don't have like an exact plan like I don't have anything in place that is 100% going ahead um, I have been applying for stuff but nothing is like exactly you know in place and I would kind of like to you know document what I do next um obviously to some extent like I'm not gonna you know if I get a job I'm not gonna take you into the workplace and be like haha this is where I work now because I'm not sure like my future boss would feel um <laughs> very um happy about that I don't know I mean I guess it depends on the company and if you're still doing your work um and yeah also really depends on the job but yeah it feels like everyone around me has kind of some plan to either do a master's or to travel and I feel very lost because I don't have that and I know you could get like you could go work like a lot of my friends have applied for British Council teaching assistantships and um, I know like one of you <laughs> would always tell me I should go do that in Spain after uni and I'm, I haven't applied for it I'm sorry <laughs> so I will not be doing that um it's a shame because once everyone applied for it and they started getting their places I was like oh maybe I should have done that 
but I didn't want to apply for it because basically I don't talk about him all the time on my channel but I do have a boyfriend and it has been long distance the whole time because we started talking during the lockdowns um like when we actually officially got together we'd actually only been on one date in person because of the lockdown and I was in France and then I've gone to uni and like the whole time I was in France he couldn't come see me because of the travel restrictions and then at uni I'm so far away and I just wanted I thought maybe getting a job in London would be a good idea so I could be like closer to him um and I know like people say you shouldn't you know you shouldn't change your plans for love but it's not like I always knew I wanted to go teach English abroad and that would only be something I would do for a year um and I'm not doing it now it's too late now anyway um and I don't know I just feel like I've taken two gap years before uni so I have had that time and I don't want it to get to a point where I'm unable to get jobs because it just looks like all I do is run around traveling I don't know like maybe that's silly Part of me would love to travel, part of me would love to be like a big travel influencer. I try to be a travel influencer, but the problem is obviously I'm not a travel influencer because I don't travel enough to make content. I feel like when I was in Lyon, I gained followers because I was making those content about Lyon. As soon as I came back, I started to see my followers drop. And it was like, I remember posting like a video about London. Obviously loads of people travel to London. I, it went, like it got, I can't even remember how many views, but it was like my most viewed, like, I think it got like 400K views on Instagram. And I got so quite a few followers for that. My followers went up, like, okay, by 200, which isn't a lot. But for me, like, for one video, that that's a lot. And now, again, like, as I haven't really been posting much travel content, I just see my followers drop. And I've been trying to post travel content about North Wales, but I couldn't because of my exams. And now I'm obviously, like, isolated. I know I legally don't have to, but that is the choice that I've made to stay at home because I think it's the right thing to to do um oh, I'm not gonna come at you if you choose to do something different it's just my personal choice um that's what I'm doing I feel like this video is very rambly but I just want it to be like very honest like this is what I'm doing just for those of you who are following me and uh, because I know a lot of you do follow me for videos about Bangor University and that obviously just isn't going to be on my channel anymore but if you're following me for videos about language learning then yippee there's still those videos and there will still hopefully be travel videos I do have one summer trip coming up um I'm super excited for just a very small trip but yeah my plan was to work in London and kind of travel like have some long weekends in Europe and then maybe save up and one day take off like two weeks to go to Mexico backpacking or three weeks instead of a month like I originally wanted to do but I feel like once you get a like a standard nine to five job you can't really just go traveling for a month which is the one thing that I'm sad about like oh I'm never am I ever going to be able to do that again um am I ever going to be able to go on a fun trip like when I went to Peru, like I haven't really documented that on my YouTube channel because that's when I was just getting into YouTube. So there's just a very like, you know, like a, just a montage video from Peru and that's it. It's the first video uploaded on my channel. Not like any proper vlogs or anything, unfortunately. But that was like the best time ever. I came back completely broke, but I just had so many memories. I learned so much Spanish. Um, I was really enjoying teaching English. Which is why I keep saying this, I had loads of teaching experience, so I'm here like applying for jobs in London, I'm like actually, like, <laughs> I have so much teaching experience, um, like, it seems odd that I didn't go do, like, teaching English abroad or something, um, because I taught English and I talkie as well for a bit, um, well, over the summer, but then university got too much, um, because first semester for me was very busy because all my deadlines were in first semester actually not second semester I feel like most of my friends it was the other way around all my friends who study like two languages they were kind of more free in first semester and really stressed in second semester where for me it was the reverse which was kind of annoying when I wanted like friends were inviting me out when I was busy and then when I was free my friends were busy um but that's the way the world works and you just have to get on with it of course um but yeah, where am I really going with this? I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I feel like there's so many different things that I could do with my degree. And that's 
probably the issue that I have so much choice and I've had like some interviews for Finns and I've I've really valued these interviews even though I haven't got any of these jobs so far um it's been really nice to like just learn about different careers like careers that I didn't even know existed until a couple of months ago to know just how many options that are for me um, as a language student I've been enjoying that yeah and you know maybe I will just get a normal boring graduate job but if I do I will live in London and then I can make content on about London which I feel like would be interesting to people and then I can travel at the weekends but I might not do that I don't know like exactly what I'm gonna do and that's the issue I don't know exactly what my channel is gonna be like I've also been debating changing the name of my channel as well like for a while I might Instagram and starting a blog and having a name that all links because I feel like you know something related to travel and languages would be much better suited but then I get scared that like people would then just see my like channel come up in their subscriptions not know who I am and just unsubscribe but then at the same time I feel like it would be easier for people interested in travel and languages to find my channel I don't know but I don't know if that's all good when I've already kind of built a brand off of my own name but it's only a small brand I don't know let me know what you think in the comments because I'm going to be changing my channel banner soon anyway because obviously I need to take the uni um life bit out so I guess I could change the name as well if that's what people think of that think would be a good idea I'd have to think about names uh, and check that other people don't already have those names uh because at the moment no one else has my name on YouTube no one else even has my name on Facebook last time I checked but that is not an invitation to add me on Facebook because I only accept requests for people who I've met in real life Facebook is my kind of pro private social media like I know I'm very active on social media but I like having something that's private for me that's Facebook Snapchat and be real and then my Instagram, TikTok, um, I don't really use Twitter anymore, but my Instagram and TikTok and my YouTube, it's very out there for everyone to see who I am, the real me and what I'm up to. Um, oh, that was loud. Um, oh, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. I think it's gone. Hopefully it's gone. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end this video here because I haven't eaten anything other than apple today because I've completely lost my appetite which is crazy because usually like first thing in the morning I am starving breakfast it is then even at 11 I'm thinking about lunch even if I've had breakfast at nine I'm thinking of lunch at at like 11 11 30 <laughs> I wait till 12 but I am and I snack all throughout the day which is really unhealthy luckily I quite clearly obviously have a high metabolism rate from my size uh, but yeah um, I just have no appetite so I'm going to force myself to eat some soup because soup is good when you're sick tomato soup, you can't go wrong and I'm going to add some spinach in it for iron yes, that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to um, leave you here with this very confusing rambly video um, I do still plan to make some stuff about banger I want to make a video about um, you know what banger's like you know things to do with banger show you some of banger like the my favorite restaurants in the area and then I want to make a video all about North Wales I was waiting to do this until I finished just in case I collect any more footage whilst I'm here um like I did plan to collect some more North Wales footage because I literally had a plan to go to a cool really cool like I think it's a town yeah the town that I hadn't been to before in North Wales tomorrow but obviously I'm not going now um because I was gonna go with my friend and I yeah I would also go in a castle and I would have just been yeah I would just be spreading my virus <laughs> the virus to everyone so I'm not going now um but I still have a week here after the date that I should hopefully leave isolation <laughs> so hopefully fingers crossed I will explore some more places in North Wales and be able to share those all with you. Um, but yeah, I really am rambling on now, so I'm going to go. And yeah, if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. Um, I usually make more interesting videos than this. Give this video a like. And yeah, I look forward to sharing with you all what I do end up doing next, whatever it may be. Bye. I just